All right, guys, Sean Louis here. And in this video, I'm going to show you why I decided to start an online education business. And maybe you're looking to start your own online education business as well. This is the video for you. Now, uh, I just want you to know the journey, okay, the journey before, like, before I became, like, before I started my online education business, okay? Uh, so this is the journey. I want you to follow along with me. And I started when I was 20 years old as a civil engineer, very young, okay? Uh, usually people graduate uh, around 24. I graduated, uh, I, I started working as an engineer when I was 20 years old, okay? Now, why can I do that? Because I was a homeschooling student, yeah. I was a homeschooling student. I could go at my own pace and so happened I was very fast, so I graduated early. Now, I was an engineer for seven years, okay, seven years. But after two years as an engineer, I decided that I can't depend on one source of income. Okay, uh, back then, that was, that was about 10 to 12 years ago. The salary, the starting salary for an engineer is about 2,000. Yeah, about 2,000. Okay, 2,000 per month, not enough. Okay, it's not enough. So I decided to start my own e-commerce business, selling iPhone accessories. Okay, I like phones. I like iPhones. I like uh, Apple stuff. Then, hey, MacBook, okay. Um, so I went into e-commerce, and through e-commerce, I learned a lot of like digital marketing skills, Facebook advertising skills, copywriting, a lot of stuff just from this e-commerce alone. Wow, I learned how to design websites, you know, e-commerce stores, a lot of skills there, okay. Which, very valuable if you're looking to build, uh, if you're le learning to learn new skills as well, I would recommend that you do that. Um, then after that, right, what I did was, uh, two to three years at, in e-commerce, wasn't too bad, okay, because at that time, iPhone 4 just launched. The iPhone 4 just launched, the case did, uh, it's still very new, and um, yeah, so I was one of the first people in Malaysia to sell phone cases. That was so nice. Um, but after a few years, right, more and more people were selling phone cases, and then I decided, okay, you know what, the market is getting very competitive, very competitive, so uh, instead, of, um, instead of like a 20,000 per month revenue, became to 2000 per month became to 200 per month revenue okay so this is the this is the only difference between right running your own business and working a job as a, when i was working in a job i could earn the fixed 2000 to 3000 per month no matter how hard i work still same but over here when you when i run when i run my own business if i work hard then i get more lah. so and at its peak as a business owner i earned about 20 33, I think 23,000, that was like average around there every month revenue, okay? And as more and more people entered the market, they were selling phone cases, they were selling phone accessories, um, the market share started to drop, so I had to look for something else. Now, what I, after that, we went into property, okay? I went into property uh, because my, my mom was like, hey, property, very good, go try it out, yeah, go check it out and see, then okay, I decided to become a property agent. Um, as a property agent, I did... I, I needed to take some exam, like a two-day exam thing, uh, two-day course thing. But one, after I started, what I didn't realize was uh, you need to spend money to advertise. You need to spend money to list your property on the, your, the internet, okay? And that needs money. So I spent thousands, I think I spent about almost 10,000, okay, to study, to learn, to advertise. And at the end of six months, I think we earn about 600 ringgit, okay? So one of the lessons I learned in property is you need to choose a good agency. Like, okay, don't simply go choose some random agency thing. Make sure that some, uh, the agency has a system. Make sure the agency has the support for you. Okay, it, our luck was back then we were not experienced. We just simply joined an uh, agency which didn't take us anywhere. Now after that, right, we were using our own savings uh, and our savings started to drop. That's where one of our property agent friends introduced us to insurance. So we, were in, we, we entered into life insurance uh, under Hong Leong Assurance at that time. Uh, Okay, not bad. Insurance, we believe in the product, we believe in insurance, but insurance is a very, very tough, very tough uh, and challenging industry because no one thinks of, uh, you know how insurance works, right? You get paid when you die, okay? Like, no one wants to die, but then nobody wants to plan for their death also, <laughs> okay? And it was a tough industry. And those who did not accept, uh, those who didn't accept insurance, I mean, they, they would like get, they would ignore us. But those who already accepted insurance, okay, now this one is a big thing. Those who already accepted insurance uh, already had their agents. So they had their own agents and their own agents were with them for like 15 years, 10, like 10, 15, 20 years. Tada chance, okay, no chance for us noobs to, to, to penetrate the market. So insurance was also very high competition, but we managed to last for three years. And for three years, really tough fight we lost friends along the way our family ignored us along the way and 
okay and eventually we decided okay we don't want to do this anymore okay and i went into the easy decision grab car grab car easy entry that i started to drive and every every um every week every week i would earn about 1600 so that's about 6000 per month it was okay but as more and more drivers started entering the grab car market right grab car started to cut the incentives grab car started to cut the pay and this is where okay so instead of earning 1600 per week i only earn about 800 a week that's like 50% off discount on my services as a grab car driver but i had no choice because I had a family to raise. Okay, I had a wife, I got two kids, then it's like, I need to support my family. So no choice lah. Okay, and that's where uh, Crystal got a call. My wife Crystal, she got a call from her cousin. And the cousin asked her, hey, do you believe in education? So it's like, okay, of course we believe in education. And after that, we discovered an online education business. Okay, and a business to start up, to help children and help parents. And it can also help us as well. So what, when I saw it, what I saw was number one, can help kids. How? It helps children to learn at home, to study better, no need to study for hours. Like last time, we, we study for about one day, about two to three hours, right? Now. If you're a smart student, uh, okay, if you're a hardworking student, uh, uh, not say smart student, if you're a hardworking student, two to three hours per day, smart student, 30 minutes to one hour only. Uh, I was the hardworking one, so two to three hours per day. Then, so uh, using the same platform, uh, using this platform that I saw, children, instead of spending two to three hours per day, they only spend about 20 to 30 minutes per day and still get the same result. So it's like, okay, great, that's number one. And, and number two is how it help parents. And parents, right, they are, right now, they are quite financially challenged. Huh? We, we, we kind of know education can be quite expensive. So what we do is we reduce the cost of their education and that will help them a lot as well. Now, this is how we help kids, how we help parents. And at the same time, the business can also help us to generate income. At the same time, we also provide opportunity for others in need. Okay, So not only we earn as well, but we also can empower others to earn their income. So this is what I saw. So the moment I saw it, right, then I decided, okay, this is what I want to do. But we have a problem. We don't know how, we, have, uh, we don't know how, we have no experience, this is something new. And yeah, so, but we decided, okay, this is what we want to do. We decided to learn along the way. And what happened next was within the first month, we earned about 5,000 plus, like just copy and pasting the systems. There were systems, there were strategies, there's how to do, there's, a, like, there's things for you to, there's a guideline to follow, like step one, step two, step three, there's a guideline. Um, first month, 5,000 plus. By the third month onwards, we were earning about 10, like five figure and above, like, okay, five figure and above. And within our first year, uh, we broke through the six figure income. So what this means was, uh, even though we had we were new, we had no experience, this is something that works. Okay, it worked for us, it can work for you as well. Right now, we are currently leading a team of uh, more than 300 online education entrepreneurs all over Malaysia. How do we do that? We have a system to support you, we have the training to guide you, and if this is something that you want to do, okay, maybe you are you know what is V School about, or maybe you don't know what is V School Trend about. Uh, if you want to find out more, there's a link in the description for you to apply. Okay, so just apply there. Once we receive your application, then we will give you a call, okay, or maybe send you a message. All right. So, anyways, a uh, very short video on why I decided to start my online education business and how you can do the same as well. And if this is what you want to do, uh, just click the link in the description to apply. Okay, anyway, Sean Louis here. And if you like what I have for you, feel free to like and subscribe me on my YouTube channel. I have a Facebook page as well. Just go there and search for it. I'm there. Okay, so anyways, that's all for now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.